it's become a little bit of a staple for this channel that every year when a new Samsung Galaxy phone comes out, I make a new stock Android-like home screen setup to go along with that. But last year, I actually didn't do that, so I think it's time for an update. Hey, I'm Brian, and this is how you can make your Samsung Galaxy look like stock Android. First of all, some words about the setup that we're going to apply today. Here we have a launcher that is like the Pixel launcher on a Pixel phone. You have all of the Pixel-like round icons. You also have the Google feed to the side and also the standard Google stock Android keyboard as well as a more stock Android-like look to the system itself. So now we're going to go into how you can actually get this on your own phone. Okay, when you're starting out, you're probably gonna find yourself with something like this, which is just the standard Samsung launcher with the standard app icons. Now I'm going to go into Notion where I have all of the links just to make this a little bit faster for myself so I don't have to search for everything. You're also going to find all of these links down in the video description. First of all, we're going to apply a theme. This one is called Pixelize. And this one basically gives all of your system settings, your notification tray and your icons a more stock-like look. So we're going to hit apply down here and that's going to apply that theme. And now you can see that this already looks a little bit more like stock Android, but we still have the standard Samsung launcher here. So we're going to change that by going back to the links and then hitting the second one, which is for Launcher Launcher. You can also use Nova Launcher or any other launcher you like, but Launcher is just nice because it has a pixel look by default, so you don't really have to configure anything to make it look like stock Android. After that's installed, we can hit Open, and then we need to hit Allow down here. But what we're going to have to do now is we need to go into our settings and then down to Apps, hit Default Apps up at the top, and then select Launcher for the home app. What that basically does is it selects Launcher by default every time you hit the home button so you don't go back to the Samsung Launcher after that. Now you can see that the app icons are back to the Samsung shape. In order to change that, we need an icon pack. So for that, we're going to go back to our link list and hit the Pixel Pi icon pack. And we're going to install that. After that's done, we're going to go back home and then we're going to go into our settings on the Launcher Launcher. Hit up here for themes, icon packs, and then select the icon pack you just downloaded. Then if you go back home, you can see that the icons change to the round shape from a Pixel phone. Now, I'm also going to put a, an app down here real quick to make it look a little bit more uniform with the dock filled up. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go back into our launch air settings and we're going to go into the plugins, select the Google feed, select get lawn feed, select this up here, click OK, hit open. Then what you need to do is you need to go into your settings and allow apps from Chrome. I would recommend you to turn this off again after installing this app though, so you don't install any malware by accident but this app is definitely safe. Now you can actually enable this and if you now go back home, you can see that you have your Google feed on the side just like you do on the default Samsung launcher and on the Pixel phone. What we're going to do now is install the Google wallpaper app. For that, we are going to go back to our links and install this from the Play Store. Now you can hit open and this app basically has all of the wallpapers that you're also going to find on a Pixel phone. The one that I used is in the landscape section. Scroll down a bit and hit on this one, but of course you can also select any one that you like better. Apply that. And then we have this wallpaper on our phone. And now the only thing that's left is also changing the keyboard to a more stock-like look. And for that, we're going to go into our link list again, click on Gboard, hit install. After that's done, we're gonna open it up, then enable this in the settings, click OK, then select Gboard as the input method, hit done. And now if you actually want to type something, you can see that you have the Google keyboard like on stock Android down here. So that's basically it. Now you have a stock-like setup on your Samsung Galaxy phone with a pixel launcher, all of the icons, and a more stock-like system theme as well as the Google keyboard. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Of course, as I said, you're going to find all of the links that you will need down in the description below. 
Also make sure to check out my other home screen setups, especially the one I recently did on the iPhone, which is also pretty interesting in terms of what you can do now in iOS 14, even if it's not close to what you can do on Android. If you enjoyed this video, you know which buttons to press. Don't forget to press that follow button on Twitter and don't forget your mask when you leave the house. I'm Brian, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.